hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a responsive bootstrap layout in ASP.NET MVC file go to file new project in the new project under the templates we have a web option and I'm choosing ASP.NET web application .NET framework And the application name I'm giving master layout click OK a visual studio creating project master layout notice here in ASP.NET templates I have a MVC 4 but I want to create a layout on MVC 5 version at this moment I'm clicking OK later in the project I will add MVC 5 layout click OK now Visual Studio just created the master layout application go to solution explorer expand the views folder under the shared folder we have a view start.cshtml which is a default layout for this MVC project but I'm deleting this one delete okay so now there is no any layouts here after I deleted the default layout from shared folder I'm creating a new layout right click the shared folder go to add click new item and add new item under the web sections and the MVC click on it and now here we got the MVC layout razor MVC layout is a master page so I am giving this page name master layout dot CS HTML click add now we got here the master layout.cshtml and this master layout contains a simple html file layout but i want to add the responsive bootstrap layout for that let's visit getbootstrap.com website and we collect the default standard layout for the bootstrap i just opened the getbootstrap.com website get started come to the bottom see here the starter template see here the starter template copy this the whole thing click copy let's get back to the project copy these all and paste the bootstrap template and one more important links we require copy this style sheet paste here and these links we already got here after creating the bootstrap CDN links now we'll create the title in the header section title at view bag dot title now here at the render section takes two parameters one is a head and the other one is a boolean type which is false let's copy this all delete it add in the header section now we just finished the header section of the master layout let's make this hello world to add h1 this is a header page put this in the due element copy it paste here 
and I am adding the bootstrap class to this div element class I am adding the container class add another div at render body and the last div is a footer break horizontal line copyright 2017 in the body section I created three deals the first div is a header part and the second one is a body which is nothing but a content pages and the third one is a footer one small correction here here I'm adding do now these three do elements inside the main do class container now we need to create the content pages I'm creating three content pages which is one is the index page and second one is the contact us and third one is the about us page for that go to solution explorer right click the views add I'm creating a new folder and I'm making this new folder name my template enter right click add view The first view name, the first page is index. In these options, the third one is a user layout page. We need the layout page is a master layout. So, browse, click views, share, underscore master layout dot CSHTML. Okay. Click add. Now we just created the index.cshtml under the my templates folder. I am creating other two views also. A view about us. Make sure the master layout add and the last view I am adding add view. contact us add now here we got this three views about us index.cshtml after adding these three cshtml views let's go to solution explorer we need the controllers right now we have the home controller but I am creating the new controller add controller I'm choosing empty MVC file controller add and the controller name I'm giving my template controller click add instead of index I'm using about us copy it about us the view about us page and the contact us copy it contact us and the view contact us page after adding these three view to my template controller go to master layout enter after the h1 horizontal line at html dot action link which takes three parameters 
and these three parameters all are strings the first one, one is a home h y m home click this index go to master layout again index and the third parameter is the controller name which is my template copy this this here and the second one is and the third one about us about us and my template remove this hyphen and the body style background color I'm choosing dark green dark gray In the last final step go to solution explorer application underscore start route config and here the home my template build solution here the build succeeded now we will check the output on the browser google chrome and here is the output this is a header page this is a footer and this is a body index page this is a menu contact us contact us about us about us that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos